John Hughes had stopped directing after the release of the 1991 film, Curly Sue, starring Alison Porter and Jim Belushi. After the release of the film, he spent more of the later years of his life with family and embarking on personal ventures at his farm home in northern Illinois rather than filmmaking. He continued to provide seldom screenwriting in the 2000s under the alias, Edmund Dantes, for films such as the 2002 film, Made in Manhattan, and the 2008 film, Drillbit Taylor. Throughout a significant portion of Hughes' adult life, Hughes was reportedly a chain smoker, though Hughes had apparently ceased his habit by 2001 and had appeared to be in good quality physical health before his death. On the evening of August 5, 2009, John Hughes, along with his wife, Nancy Ludwig, traveled from Chicago to New York City to pay a visit to their son, James Hughes, his wife and their infant grandson. During that night, they all had dinner together, and Hughes and Ludwig took photos and videos of his new grandson. Later that night, John Hughes and Nancy Ludwig later departed James's home to their hotel in Manhattan, New York, with plans to spend more time with James and his family the following day. On the morning of August 6, 2009, John Hughes awoke and left his Manhattan hotel to take a leisurely walk. Morning walks had been noted part of Hughes' regime during visits to New York City. During his walk, Hughes suffered a sudden heart attack and collapsed on a sidewalk a few blocks near the hotel at 60 West 55th Street. Hughes was rushed to Roosevelt Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at the age of 59. A camera that was recovered on his body revealed that Hughes had taken photographs on his very walk that morning. James Hughes had remarked about this revelation, saying, when he passed away, he was doing something he loved. He was out note-taking and observing. His other son, John Hughes III, stated after his death, I lost two people with his death. I lost my father, which comes with its own territory. But, really, that was second to losing him as a friend, collaborator, and mentor to my children. Molly Ringwald, an actress who worked with Hughes for the films, Pretty in Pink, Sixteen Candles, and The Breakfast Club, stated that she was stunned and incredibly sad in reaction to the unexpected death of Hughes. She went on to state that Hughes was and will always be such an important part of my life. He will be missed by me and by everyone that he has touched. Actor Matthew Broderick, who starred as Ferris Bueller in Hughes' 1986 film, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, stated, I am truly shocked and saddened by the news about my old friend John Hughes. He was a wonderful, very talented guy, and my heart goes out to his family. Actor Macaulay Culkin, who co-starred as Miles Russell in Hughes' 1989 film, Uncle Buck, and starred as Kevin McAllister in the 1990 film, Home Alone, stated, I was a fan of both his work and a fan of him as a person. The world has lost not only a quintessential filmmaker whose influence will be felt for generations, but a great and decent man. A private memorial service held for Hughes on August 11, 2009, at Wenban Funeral Home, which is just outside of Chicago in Lake Forest, Illinois. It included notable attendants such as Matthew Broderick, Vince Vaughn, and Ben Stein. Actor Ben Stein stated that the service was very touching, and that there was a lot of crying. After the service, Hughes was buried in Lake Forest Cemetery. Following the death of his wife Nancy Ludwig in 2019, she was interred in a grave adjacent to him.